like that. <laughs> Whoopsie. Aaron, Marco yeah. Island Police welcomes you. <laughs> In your GoPro. Cool man. This is like another jack but different color. Oh it came off. Get everything out here on the beach, beautiful. <laughs> so the dolphins kept on getting closer and closer to me so I get a little further out, get on this rock. The, along these rocks here so guy was fishing over here getting a lot of fish so I decided to come over here again to kind of get away from the dolphins I'm sure there's a rule you know if they get closer and closer you don't want to be too close to them so one got really close to me and kind of did a circle so I'm like I'm getting the hell out of there. but pretty cool man beautiful sights over at Marco but anyways so far I've caught like a jack, ladyfish, hooked in a few other fish that came off. I'm um, getting multi-species, so this is pretty fun here. Just using a standard 3 8 ounce bucktail, white bucktail jig. Working pretty good, so. Finally got a mackerel. Cool, man. Got all types of species out here. Beautiful, man. Oh, looks like he got some of my hair off my jig. Oh, there he goes. Wow. Yeah, the one guy was telling me uh, those catfish, I guess they're, he was, ca oh, there we go. I'm gonna hop on the rock to your left. Alright, cool. Just 
that's the way the current's pulling. Yeah, I know. So, just be careful. There's dolphins right there. Well, just, uh, where'd you say you are? You from? Oh, it's a mackerel. Michigan, like Lake St. Clair, you ever? I fish Lake St. Clair. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lake St. Clair is the only lake I've ever fished where I got fish out. Almost huh. over four pounds on a crankbait on back to back cast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a and great. I got a 5.9 that week, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, my friend got a 5.10 and a 5.8. Oh, geez. yeah. I still haven't. I mean, I've lived over there all my life. I haven't still got one six pound. My buddy got one on Lake Erie uh, last year. Now, that's a macro, that's isn't a macro, it? Yeah. Here. Okay, I got that. Oh, look at the teeth on that buster. Holy cow! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny, I've only caught one mackerel down here. Dude, that's my second one. They're here, so there we go. That's kind of far out. I don't think it's too big, though. Oh, he came out, you little bugger! I would have liked it. It it felt like it. He hit out pretty far, though. Would have liked to seen it. There we go. Yeah, I think so. I got to start throwing. I need to Eh? Yeah, that's another macro. Macro feet freeding yeah, frenzy. If I lose this shrimp, I'm going with the, the, the plankton or something. Colorado thumping blade? Yeah. My buddy in Alabama taught me that, and I brought it back to Connecticut and fished a lot of tournaments that way, and mm -hmm. really did well. Like cross. Oh god, I got yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> he fell me right up when I started reeling real fast. Is that another mackerel? Oh my god, he! I grabbed his inners and. Looks oh, like wow. he's got a little uh, minnow in there. Look huh. at that. I came I came down here two nights ago, and the wind uh. was howling out of the west so hard, I couldn't even fish because it was right in your face. Oh, I hate that. And if you cast, your bait came right back in, but you really couldn't even cast because the wind right. was strong. Yeah. Uh-oh. Was that a fish? Must have been. I should have changed it out. There we go. I like pink. Yeah, tiny one. I caught a snook yesterday that couldn't have been more than 12 inches. It was the smallest really? snook I'd ever seen that I got Uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna try tying on my X wrap real quick. I go with something like silvery white. Yeah, it's called the glass ghost. I mean, I've been getting them on the XR12, but I had the XR10. I'll just put on the XR12, go for something big. <laughs> exactly. I was talking to one guy at that uh, Serenity Bait Company off uh, or in Naples there. I don't know that road, but um, he was showing me his grouper setup. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, those rods, they got those, it's like rollers on it. Stand up rods, yeah. Oh my God. Like tuna rods, yeah. <laughs> I watched a few videos on that. I'm like, that looks insane. I'm like, I don't think I could reel one of those up. That's, well, you know, when I came out here, I first started fishing in Naples. I just started all the way back in the canal, 
and just worked my way out. Yep. This is there I am right now, just kind of, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think it's a jack going ape shit. On the hard jerk thing? Yeah, I think so. He, he is, uh... Yeah, I think so. They go berserk in the <sighs> That's probably the biggest jack I ever got. Nice, that's a decent one, yeah. Flip them up on this rock. Get one of those can I figure anything out? Well, it's like you said, you go big, bigger bait, and uh, I'm glad you gave me that tip to switch. Yeah, they like bark or something. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, he's doing nice. This is a decent subject. Yeah, thank you.